introduction, this is our topic lesson for today. Today, we are going to start by singing Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes. If you know the song, you can join in with your teacher. Is everyone ready? Let's go. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Well done, everybody. Now I think we should do it with the body parts of a mini bee. Are you ready? Let's go. Head. What do you mean the body parts of a mini beast? We don't know that, Miss Lynch. What do you mean you don't know them? I think maybe then we need to learn about them. What do you oh, think? Good idea. Hello, Scott class. I hope you're keeping happy and safe inside your home. What a silly video, Mr. Gear, Miss Lynch and I made. So, here is a mini beast. Let's teach you the body parts of the mini beast and you can help me finish the song. So, I have drawn a mini beast on my board. Let's start off with an easy body part. These are the legs. Legs. Different mini beasts have a different number of legs. So, for example, how many does this mini beast have? Can you help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six. This mini beast has six legs. Well done. Okay, let's look at another body part. Do you know what this part might be called? The head. Well done. This is the head of the mini beast. And on the head of the mini beast, do you know what these are called? These are called the antenna. 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 Well done. Can we say these two body parts? Head, antenna. Well done. Do you know what this body part is called? It's called the thorax. Thorax. Well done. Do you know what the bottom part of the mini beast is called? It's called the abdomen. Abdomen. So we have the head, thorax, abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen. One more time. Head, thorax, abdomen. Well done. Stop the video and see can you tell me the different parts of the mini beast. Off you go. Stop the video. Well done. Did you point to the different parts of the mini beast and tell me the parts of the mini beast? Well done, make sure to take a video of yourself telling me the different parts of the mini beast and upload it onto Tapestry. Okay, do you think we could sing the little bit of head, shoulders, knees and toes together, but with the parts of a mini beast? Let's try, are you ready? Antenna, head, thorax, abdomen, thorax, abdomen, antenna, head, Thorax, abdomen, thorax, abdomen. Can we try that again? Antenna, head, thorax, abdomen, thorax, abdomen. Antenna, head, thorax, abdomen, thorax, abdomen. Well done. They all have a different amount of legs. Let's try that. They all have a different amount of legs. One more time. They all have a different amount of legs. Then, antenna, head, thorax, abdomen, thorax, abdomen. Well done, how fantastic are you guys? We know all the parts of a mini beast. Maybe you can have a look at some different pictures of mini beasts and see can you label their different parts. However, one thing we haven't talked about in this video what does the mini beast use the different parts for? And some mini beasts have parts that I have not labelled on this drawing. Can you see, can you find out if any mini beasts have different parts which I haven't included on this drawing? I'll give you a clue. 
I wonder will you be able to figure out what that clue is? I'll give you another clue. It helps them fly. Do you know? See, can you figure out what the different parts are used for by the mini beast? Tomorrow we have our live session with Sue Lab. How exciting! Another challenge I have for you is to make sure that you think of some questions that you can ask in our live session tomorrow. I can't wait to learn more about mini beasts with you. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye!